one of my best pieces of art is one of the uh, the first oil paintings that I did that I held on to. That's a 1977 piece of artwork. And uh, what this piece of artwork, uh, the title of it is uh, Patio View, The Neophyte. Okay. And what's in the composition of a piece of work is supposed to be, it's an abstract piece of work. There's uh, this abstract face of the artist in the piece of work. And that's supposed to be the artist it's on a pedal on a pedestal. The mm -hmm. artist's head is sitting there and it's looking into the picture, into the city. And um, this is supposed to be the artist's journey into his creativity. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I do. In fact, I brought one of them along today. Okay. Uh, the other one was a little bit larger, and you know, I want to try to stick that in the car. But uh, I think, uh, excuse me, I think my one of my best pieces of art is one of the uh, the first oil paintings that I did that I held on to. Okay. That's a 1977 piece of artwork, and uh, what this piece of artwork, uh, the title of it is. Uh, Patio View, the neophyte, okay. and what's in the composition of the piece of work is supposed to be, it's an abstract piece of work. There's uh, this abstract face of the artist in the piece of work, and that's supposed to be the artist, it's on a, pedal, on a pedestal, the mm -hmm. artist's head is sitting there, and right. it's looking into the picture, into the city, and um, this is supposed to be the artist's journey into his creativity, really? his journey into starting art. So, so with that, um, where do you get your ideas? Like, that's very interesting. Interesting. Like, like how did how did you come up with that idea for that piece? Um, it was actually put together in three different parts. Um, uh, this is my sound a little bit kind of out there, but I worked as a doorman in, in my early year, like when I was in college initially, yeah. like 18, 19, 20 years old, somewhere like 20 in that, in that right there. I worked as a doorman um, uh, up in Evanston, Illinois. I don't know if I should put that in there, but I worked, I worked at the door there. I worked the night shift. So during the night shift, you know, my mind's pretty, you know, active and creative with trying to just stay there and be on the job. So I just... And stay awake. <laughs> yeah, I just sketch out... Uh, you know how it became when I'm looking right. at it in front of me I would just sort of like did like the uh, the wall in front of me and I'm sitting okay. down next to the lake and that sort of thing and uh, then I added like the the background of the city into it I added some flowers into it I added a bird into it and I guess to try to narrow it down to get to the thing uh, abstract art I think is one of my best uh, you know something about me and the abstract part of it right. that uh, um, that make a connection more so than if I'm sitting, just sitting and doing a portrait of you or something like that. Okay. So the abstract take me into uh, like this journey, and, and uh, that's how I kind of come up with most of these ideas for my abstract work. And then the colors just connect to give it a movement and sort of uh, does the composition. Okay. Okay. So speaking of um, your pieces, we we have one here actually. Yes. Um, can you share with us? Um, what inspired the name and the size, and, and if it's for sale? Uh, yeah, this is for sale. Uh, it was inspired by, uh, well, the, the size, I just wanted to make it a little bit larger than an 18 by 24. I do a lot of 18 by 24s. I wanted this to be a little bit larger, uh, and I kind of had this, this perception already of, you know, what I wanted to do with it, how I wanted to color it, and so forth. The inspiration behind it is that uh, I had just received uh, some news about 
uh, pre-existing health condition, you know, that I have that I, that was going on with me. And uh, well, I'm thinking, well, okay, is this the end? Uh, where am I going to from here? You know, what do I want to do? Uh, and the title of this picture, Revelation, you know, I said, this is a revelation. This is a revelation about me just trying to just pick up and move on rather than just getting trapped in this idea about, you know, what might be going on with me at this particular time. And this is how this turned out. Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing specializes in custom framing, printing on canvas, and selling contemporary and African-American art, all housed in our 3,000 square foot art gallery. We are centrally located in Milwaukee at 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue. We recognize local artists and strive to connect local talent with the community. We're asking for your support. Contact us to find out how you can help sponsor the work we're doing to highlight local artists in our community. something else about me when me and my work like I said we have uh, um, I kind of think out of this this mindset of a mental physical spiritual balance so you know when when I'm doing our work you know I'm trying to uh, promote uh, a balance within myself that's mentally and physically you know connected and uh, if that make any sense yeah, but uh, sense. you know and then the colors more or less like I said colors tend to mean different things to different people or uh, uh, when you when you take it from just viewing it from as something on the outside to taking it on the inside and see what kind of vibration it make you have, how it make you feel. So I'm vibrating myself back towards good health with this image. Right, right. Okay. All right. Now, what is the name of this piece? Uh, Revelation. Re Revelation. Yes. Okay. And I is it's called that because um, you know it it was conceived uh during this particular you know mindset and this feeling and mood that I was in right okay. and it sort of like lifted me out of that to uh and since doing this image right here, I've actually completed uh two more pictures, so I'm sort okay. of like on a on a run with getting things done rather than just being you know not doing anything at all right you know what you know one thing that I found that's common um with all artists their trade, if you want to call it a trade, it comes from an organic place. It comes from a place where, a meaningful place. You know, sitting here and listening to you and you telling me what, what brought this on, that didn't come from some, something that was commercial, that came from something that was inside. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Now, is this a print or is this an original? You're looking at the original. You're In fact, you framed that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. So, something. How much is this piece? Um, here's something else. Or is it for sale? Yes, it is for sale. Okay. You know, and and um, let me try to get this in the right context. You know, when when I when I work on my work, uh, I like what you said about the commercial part of it. That uh, my it has a deeper kind of meaning. So, when um, marketing my work, or when I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for someone else. Okay. But I want it to mean something to someone else. And I think the story that goes with the piece of work is probably more valuable than the image itself. You know, right. I had somebody tell me that the story sells, you know, the image is just, you know, part of it. Right. So uh, when I'm doing my work um, along the border, if you pull the border down off of this particular piece of work, I record the the dates that I'm actually working on the work itself mm -hmm. and I think that's something that the, the person that person that invested in my work they should know that they should have a history of how this piece of work developed right and then uh, I associate well I attach a price to that based on 
you know, the man hours that I right. put into it, if that make any sense. Mm -hmm. It's just like mm -hmm. if I was working a job for someone, doing something else, and I'm making $65 an hour, $100 an hour, or what have you. That might sound, you know, pretty far out there, uh, but actually it's not, you know, $100 an hour where it's not, you know, yeah. given the kind of economy and, you know, what we're living in these times and the cost of things. And I'm not just trying to overcharge anyone. I just think that, you know, my labor, uh, that's the value, if I can associate that kind of value with my work. Right. So to narrow it down, a uh, piece of work like this, this original piece of work, um, I can't remember exactly how many hours in it right now, but that might be like around nine thousand dollars. Okay, so this original piece, so piece frame original is piece of work. Yes. Okay, you know, um, being here at Greenwood Park, uh, I, I've um, connected. The Artist Connection podcast was generated from many conversations with local artists around the lack of opportunity to showcase their talent. Here at Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, we recognize our local talent and strive to connect artists with the community. Please enjoy this opportunity to hear from local artists and learn more about what inspires their work.